2017 Yamaha YZFR6 review. There was a time not so long ago when sport bike enthusiasts inked their calendar with an expectation of springtime bearing the fruit of an all-new middleweight super sport platform from one or more of the Japanese big four. Although the annual bumper crop of 600 class sport bikes has all but dried up, for 2017 the sky is Yamaha blue. Just as the draft-ending watershed winter has transformed the Golden State green, in a sort of symbolic coincidence the first worldwide press ride of the new YZFR6 took place at Thunderhill Raceway Park located in Northern California. Featuring a sprinkling of performance improvements and fresh styling, a day spent lapping the 15-turn, 3-mile track provided a good taste of the electronic, chassis, and aerodynamic treatment that have been applied to the fourth-generation R6. Our hosts outfitted each bike with sticky Bridestone Battleaxe R10 radials in place of stock fitment Battleaxe Hypersport S21 tires. Additionally, an accessory quick shifter, $199.99, and Yamaha Communication Control Unit, $699.99, data logger, of which the bike comes pre-wired allowing simple plug-and-play installation, were in place. The YCCU records lap time, engine RPM, gear position, wheel speed, throttle position, TC intervention, brake pressure, and more along with GPS positional information. Software supporting Android or Apple tablets allows viewing the data once downloaded from the bike over Wi-Fi. The reshaped fairing, along with a 50mm taller windscreen, is set to make the new R6 the most aerodynamic production Yamaha available. Clicking seamless upshifts with the throttle pinned netted speeds approaching 140 miles per hour on the track's medium length main straight. While there's plenty more end to be had at a faster venue, I noted very little helmet rocking turbulence while tucked behind the bubble at speed. The rider triangle remains unchanged from last year's machine. However the now aluminum fuel tank's revised contour along with a reshaped seat lends an impression of new ergos. The saddle is now wider at the rear and narrower up front for an easier reach to the ground and has less forward slope. While the engine remains mechanically the same as its predecessor, this titanium valve, 599 cubic centimeters in line for that ironically pioneered Yamaha chip controlled throttle back in 2006 has finally joined the electronic rider aid age. A thumb toggle on the right grip allows on the fly switching between 3D mode throttle response maps, each providing full power output, while a rocker on the left grip switches between six levels of traction control sensitivity, plus off. I found the STD, middle, D mode provided a very direct, yet sensual throttle connection. Selecting a high TC setting allowed me to clearly feel the system in action as its combination of ignition timing, fuel delivery, and throttle plate management provided very fluid intervention. Power cut was subtle to the point of only knowing it was working thanks to a yellow TC indicator light on the dash flicking when working its magic. A credit to the rear grip provided by the chassis slash tire combination, I never saw the light illuminate with TC set below level 4. While main frame goes unchanged, a narrower cast magnesium subframe and smaller battery have paired some pounds to help offset weight added with ABS and a much beefier front end. Yamaha dipped into the R1 parts bin as the R6 is now equipped with the same KYB 43mm fork, with recalibrated spring and damping, and larger diameter front axle. The Nissan front brake master cylinder, Advix radial mono block calipers, and larger 320mm rotors also come straight from its leader class sibling. Following behind Yamaha factory superbike ace Josh Hayes for a few hot laps quickly got me in touch with the R6S newfound handling prowess. The confidence in front end grip and feel was wholly on display as the four-time AMA superbike champion towed me deeper into turn two than I had imagined possible. Treating the sweeping medium speed left as a double apex corner put substantial load on the front at corner entry but held fast lap after lap. Precise fueling allowed mid-corner throttle pickup at deep lean without any unsettling of the chassis. The sense of control and planted feel allowed the bike to effortlessly tighten the line to clip the second apex for a hooked up, hard exit drive. 
This corner alone reminded me just how much I'd forgotten the handling attributes a middleweight supersport can possess over the current tide of leader bikes. The agile nature made negotiating the side-to-side -side flick through the second gear essies and corkscrew crest that follow an exercise of precise pleasure. A series of increasingly faster dogleg lefts midway through the lap are reminiscent of a similar section at Italy's original Misano circuit layout. The safety net of TC allows pin throttle through much of the section as you snick shifts on cue to shift indicator light. Not a slip or a wiggle, simply excellent grip and trusting stability. Another left-right transition cresting a third gear rise lightens the front and at times induced a bit of head shake if aggressive with throttle or steering input. Still so, the bike quickly regains a straight and true track with no steering damper fitted. It's this blend of steering lightness and inherent stability that makes the latest R6 a better, safer road bike. Double back shifts while braking hard over a crest into the following corner firmly reiterates the forgiving nature of the slipper clutch and ABS, both keeping the chassis in check and wheels in line. Some may question the inability to switch anti-lock off, but I must say the system is calibrated well for track use and not once did I feel a hint of freewheeling sensation. While there are other middleweight sport bikes offering superior bottom midrange torque, none feel as race ready. The R6 delivers smooth, linear output through the lower rev range, has a notable hit around 9000 rpm, and the exhilarating rush to its 16500 redline will stir your soul. Add to this an effective electronics suite, more communicative chassis, and attractive styling, and you have a bike that really does the Tuning Fork brand's lineup proud. Yamaha's blue chip championship winning middleweight has the category cornered and looks to continue its winning ways both on track and on the road. Specifications Engine type liquid cooled inline 4. Displacement 599 cubic centimeters. Bore and stroke 67.0 x 42.5 millimeters. Seat height 33.5 inches. Rake 24.0 degrees. Trail 3.8 inches. Wheelbase 54.1 inches. Fuel capacity 4.5 gal. Claimed wet weight 419 pounds. Price $12,199. 2017 Yamaha YZF-R6 in race trim. Yamaha Motor Europe showed off the race-ready YZF-R6 during the ICMA International Motorcycle Exhibition in Milan. Inspired by YZR M1 technology with the distinctive R-Series design, the showcasing of this full-blooded racing machine was Yamaha's first step in preparing its customers and racers for what's to come in the next year, when the YZF R6 will chase glory in the 2017 FIM Supersport World Championship. GRT Yamaha official World SSP teams Lucas Mayas and Federico Caracajulo as well as Calio Yamaha supported World SSP teams Nikki Tuyuli and Sheridan Moray attended the ICMA press conference to get a first glimpse of the 2017 YZF R6. This new middleweight supersport bike is incredibly similar to their racing bikes for next season due to the championship's regulations that only allow very subtle alterations made to the consumer bike cylinder head, gearbox, suspension, rear shock, front fork, electronic system and brake rotors. Having won the FIM Supersport World Championship three times in the last seven years, 2009, Cal Crutchlow slash 2011 Chaz Davies slash 2013, Sam Lowe's, the YZF R6 has already proved its competitiveness but that hasn't stopped Yamaha from taking it one step further with the new 2017 model. As the YZF R6 is to re-enter the World SSP Championship in 2017, Yamaha have completely restyled the 600 cubic centimeters super sport bike with a radical new look to match its ambitions. The new design is clearly inspired by the latest generation MotoGP and World SBK models, the M1 type central forced air intake, recessed LED twin headlights and new YZF R1 style tail just being three examples, giving the bike an intense look that's instantly recognizable as being a member of the R series family, while its own unique character still shines through. The YZF R6 is known for its light handling, agility and speed. 
Yamaha Super Sport design team has been working relentlessly to push the performance in each of these areas and their hard work has paid off. A new front cowl, windscreen, and a low drag front fairing, developed using some of the key elements from the YZF-R1, give a significant improvement of 8% in aerodynamic efficiency. Additionally, the YZF-R6 also comes with a new slimline magnesium rear subframe that's 20mm narrower at the front, allowing the rider to tuck in more closely to the tank for a more streamlined rider position, while a newly designed seat and rear subframe make it quicker and easier for the rider to shift his body weight. The YZF R6 has always been a front runner, both in terms of getting the results on track and being the first to adopt innovative technology. Besides being equipped with a Yamaha chip controlled throttle, YCCT, and a Yamaha chip controlled intake, YCCI, for a high degree of controllability in a wide range of conditions, the new YZF R6 comes with an advanced traction control system, TCS that is adjustable by a switch on the handlebars. The YZF R6 also comes equipped with a new quick shift system, QSS, for even faster gear changing. This system is similar to the design used on the YZF R1, and instantly cancels drive torque when an upshift is detected, enabling full throttle clutchless upshifts for outstanding acceleration through the close ratio 6 speed transmission. Special racing components on this featured machine. Other outstanding bike features of the YZF R6 displayed at ECMA include the full race fairing, consisting of a two-piece front and single-piece seat, an Akrapovic Evo full titanium exhaust, dual Brembo T-Drive front brakes, disc 320mm, single Brembo rear brake, disc 220mm, telescopic forks, 43mm, front suspension with Olin's cartridge kit, and threaded Pirelli Diablo tires, front, 120-70ZR17M-C, rear, 180-55ZR17M-C, as per championship regulations. Alongside the genuine accessories, the showcased racing features are all available through the official Yamaha dealer network.